Hey everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. Hope you're having a great day. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the channel. On this channel, we talk about men's fragrances and I touch on unisex fragrances as well and a little bit of female fragrances. So if you're new to the channel and you like fragrance-related content like this, by the end of the video, please show your support by clicking that red subscribe button down below. I really would appreciate that. Do not forget to like the video if you like this type of content and like to see more of it on YouTube and click the bell icon to be notified for future videos like this and giveaway announcements as well. Before the video starts, I wanna give a big special shout out to Jared Miller. I wanna post his Facebook information on the screen here. He does a lot of decanning for fragrances, new fragrances, old fragrances. I'm gonna post a couple of the fragrances that he's decanning now currently. And I bought a 10 mil of the new Imperial Armani Stronger With You Oud. Thank you, Jared, for doing fast service. I got my fragrance in about two to three days. So I'm happy as heck. I'm gonna spray it on my skin for the first time and see if I like it or I don't. This fragrance retails for about a hundred bucks or over for a 50 mil and a little bit over 100 and some more for a 100 ml bottle. They have a 50 ml and 100 ml bottle available. Currently, they're sold out right now on fragrancebuy.ca. Not a sponsored video, but I'll leave a link down below. You can actually give them your information and they will notify you when the bottles come back in stock. Spray a little of my skin. Beautiful presentation. I'm gonna zoom in and show you this beautiful bottle presentation. This is A+, beautiful bottle presentation by Jared. Love the gold on gold. Here we go. Moment of truth. All right, couple sprays. Note breakdown, which I wanna pop on the screen here. It's only three notes. We have lavender, vanilla, and oud. Ooh, it's nice. So right off the get-go, you're gonna definitely pick up, you're gonna get the oud. You're gonna get this oud, this agarwood um, oud type of feel. Now, I wouldn't call it a overall stinky type of oud. Like, you know how like oud behind can be more stinky, dirty type of oud? Oudy as well. But there's a mix of oud and vanilla in the mix. It's like sweet and dirty at the same time, if that makes sense to you, ladies and gentlemen. So you're definitely going to get that vanilla vibe as well. So it's kind of sweet, kind of creamy as well with the oud as well. So you kind of get a dirty, woody type of feel. You definitely do pick up that lavender as well. Now, lavender is in a lot of designer fragrances nowadays, so there's nothing new about lavender. If you smell lavender before, you smell it here, you smell it here, it's in a lot of designer fragrances, whether it's men fragrances, unisex, or female fragrances. Now, I like this one because it's very sweet as well. So you definitely get oud, but you, the vanilla kind of gives it a nice little bit of a sweet curve to the fragrance, where it's not like a heavy, stinky oud where you don't want to wear the fragrance. Now, overspray this fragrance. It's a heavy fragrance off my skin. I only have to dig my nose in it. It's like booming off of the skin. So please keep in mind, you don't have to overspray this fragrance. Just tone down the sprays. Two or three sprays, you should be good. It's very, very heavy on my skin. I can smell it from here. I only have to dig my nose in it. This is gonna be more of a, I wanna say more of a fall and winter fragrance because of the note breakdown with the oud and the vanilla. You don't really wanna wear oud in the summertime. I mean, you might be able to pull it off with Oud Espahan. This type of Oud, I think you wanna wear it maybe on a cooler summer night. I'm talking very, very low, low 70s. I wouldn't go 80, 90s, or 100. I think it's too heavy for that. You might choke yourself out or other people around you. Now this is a fragrance that you might want to wear more dressier because you're paying over $100 for this bottle. So I think you maybe want to wear it on maybe a special occasion, maybe with your significant other, uh, maybe a date night fragrance. Um, if you're hanging out with friends at a bar, if you want to pull it off on a night out, cool. I don't think this is something I would wear particularly to the office because it might be too loud and some people may not like it, it might be too offensive with the oud and the vanilla sweetness. Definitely keep that in mind before you start spraying it to where to work because some places, you might get in trouble for wearing a fragrance like this. This is not a light fragrance. This is a heavier type of fragrance. On my skin, it's kind of thick. That's all I'm trying to say. Now, the vanilla has calmed down some now. It's kind of in the background. That woodiness and the oud is coming more in the front, forefront, which is giving that heavy, kind of stinky vibe to the fragrance. So keep in mind, the vanilla has calmed down significantly where you still pick it up, but that oud is coming more in the forefront with the lavender as well. So that vanilla has kind of faded away a little bit where it's kind of pushed way, way in the back. So now I'm going to cut the camera off. I'm gonna let it sit on my skin, maybe like two or three hours. 
I'll come back and update you on the mid and the dry down, let you know if I love the fragrance or I don't love the fragrance or I love the fragrance. And I'll give you my first impression ratings as well. So please stay tuned. Okay guys, I'm back now with an update. I had on my skin for a couple hours now, so I'm gonna let you know how the mid and the dry down smells. I'm gonna give you my ratings and overall thoughts with my first impression. When you get to the middle of the fragrance, um, you get definitely picking up some of the tobacco, which is not listed as a note in this fragrance, and you're definitely picking up a leather feel in this fragrance as well. Now on my skin, I pick up somewhat of a patchouli feel in the fragrance. They don't list patchouli as a note, but you can, a lot of designer fragrances have patchouli in as well. They're not gonna list the whole note breakdown. I definitely do get some resonance as incense as well in this fragrance. There's a touch of rose in this fragrance as well. You can definitely pick it up in the background of the fragrance. Not a heavy road fragrance, so it's not a female fragrance. So keep that in mind. Sweetness to this fragrance as well. So it comes from the vanilla. It's kind of sweet, creamy, kind of like in this fragrance. A little bit, tad bit milky, but overall that vanilla gives it a sweetness to the fragrance. The oud is, is very potent in this fragrance. So if you don't like oud as note, you may not like this fragrance, but that sweetness kind of blends very well. So you get a mix of oud and sweetness. So it's not going to be too powering for somebody to take in. It's definitely gonna be a nice waft to smell in the air, but some people will like it. Some people might think it's too much. So keep that in mind. Everybody's not gonna love oud and not everybody's gonna love your fragrance. So whether you're a man or a woman, to each his own, don't think everybody's gonna like this fragrance and don't think comments are gonna come rolling down the street. This isn't that type of freshy, blue type of fragrance that men and women are gonna like. Definitely do pick up some amber in this fragrance as well. Now the resins is in there as well, and like I said before, the patchouli gives it a nice blend to the fragrance. Even though they don't list it as no, you definitely do pick up a patchouli in the background. Now in the far, far dry down, I definitely get more of that leather, and I definitely do pick up some of the tobacco in this fragrance. I have the notes right here of what I pick up when I smell it. Definitely a tobacco vibe, kind of smoky, and I definitely do pick up a leather feel in the fragrance. So fingers crossed, I hope Kelly likes it, but I don't know. Sweetness might overpower it where you don't pick up the leather as well, but I get a lot more leather and a lot more amber in the dry down, especially with the tobacco note as well. I like this one, guys. I'm gonna give it a eight out of 10 so far. It smells very good. This is gonna be more of a fall and winter fragrance. Wouldn't recommend wearing this in the spring or summer, but if you feel like it's not too heavy where you live at, where it's hot, or you're indoors, air conditioner, you wanna pull it out and wear it, go right ahead. Do not overspray this fragrance. I'm warning you right now. Just do one or two sprays, you should be good to go. If you wanna go ham, by all means go ahead, but the reactions might either make you feel upset or they might be good, you never know. I'm just warning you beforehand because a lot of us overspray fragrances and a lot of people do not like fragrances. They will flat out tell you your fragrance is horrible. So if you don't want the negativity, calm down the sprays. I'm just giving you forewarning before you wear this fragrance or purchase this fragrance. This is off of my skin. Your skin might vary differently, so please keep that in mind. At the end of the day, it's great, it's a sweet fragrance. If you wanna think about what fragrance is kinda of similar to, it's not the same, keep that in mind. I would say it's in the same wheelhouse as fragrances similar to this fragrance here. From the same lineup, I would say Armani Code is the gold absolute. That's a special edition, an all gold bottle, cause it has nutmeg. It has, um, kinda gives it that vanilla feel in this fragrance here. The other fragrance called Armani Code, it is uh, absolute from the same wheelhouse. It just has some of that DNA. Now, not the same note breakdown, but it does have that nutmeg, which I already talked about. And then it is kind of powdery as well in the fragrance. I wouldn't call it iris, but kind of powdery in the fragrance. Kind of get a vibe like that. So if you like those two fragrances, you're gonna like this fragrance here. It's not a clone of it. Keep in mind, I'm saying it smells like something else that they already made from a different line or of Armani but nevertheless, you should definitely check it out. You pick up a little bit of a oud for greatness vibe in the fragrance. It's not the same, but you think about it, it kind of going with that oud, vanilla, kind of sweet and vibe in the fragrance. So if you like oud for greatness, if you like Armani Code Absolute, um, Armani Code Gold Absolute Special Edition, you're gonna like this fragrance here. This is just a similar, not the same fragrance, but if you want to think of fragrances that smell kind of like it, that you're gonna like, this is it right here. 
Thank you guys for watching another fragrance video. If you like this type of content and you enjoy these videos, please show your support by clicking that red subscribe button down below. Like the video and click the bell icon so be notified for future videos like this. And give it as well. If you tried the new Imperial Armani Stronger With You Oud, let me know down below. What's your favorite Stronger With You fragrance from the lineup? There's too many to name. Leave your list down below. Be safe, everyone. Me and Kelly care about all you people around the world. And we'll catch you in my next video. Peace.